We are checking out The Warning Consume live at Poland Rock. Oh, this is the uh, concert that people told me about. This is uh, the 1st of August, which is three days ago. This got uploaded a day ago. Thank you, Overnight Odyssey. What a G. Subscribing for that, liking, supporting the uh, channel as well. Uh, copy the link. I'm putting it here for you guys as well in the chat. Go support The Warning. They're badass. Right, bam. That's the link right there. This is a request coming to us by Richard Edwards. So thank you very much, Richard. You're here with us in the chat. I appreciate it very much. You're very, you're a very polite person, I must say. Let's go. With the socks. I like the song a lot, right? I actually want to listen to the studio version um, because I think it, this stylistically, this song is is one of the things that I, one of the sounds that they have that I prefer from them. This this hard hitting rock, you know, uh, it's pretty badass. Thing is, this is a so the audio quality isn't like optimal. That is because I think this is. Look at the description, the description. The warning played the main stage at Poland Rock and completely destroyed. Hell yeah. So uh, this is probably recorded from the TV, I'm guessing. Or maybe this is downloaded from somewhere. No, I think this is literally from a, a live feed recorded from the screen. Maybe, maybe not. The thing is, the audio, if that's how they capture Yeah, it says Kresciota or whatever that is, TV. That's Polish TV, right? Um, so it's a screen recorder and then they uploaded that. What happens there is the audio file isn't, you know, properly mastered because it's, it's a, it's a live feed, I'm guessing too. 
if, if it's a direct live feed that's what you're hearing here in the beginning you hear like this echo right there's this where is it do you hear how the audio is not optimal it's a great song but you hear how the audio is not optimal that's because they probably the audio engineers probably haven't you know done the optimal mixing and i'm guessing that will be done and then it will be uploaded to the warnings official channel where the audio quality i mean the, perf the performance is there obviously but the audio quality afterwards that's the that's the engineer process that will be actually done and then we will have it in better quality is what i'm trying to say um i can click the button for lyric video uh yeah go ahead i'm not sure what you mean by that but yeah go ahead man um absolutely uh I like the song. I like the song. Of course, the performance too. It's still with that, you know, those minor technical issues that we have right here watching this because, well, first of all, it's it's screen recorded from a TV, uploaded to YouTube, and then YouTube has the co a compression mode. It has a processing mode where it compresses it and it, that reduces quality of the audio. So you have those two factors in it and it still sounds pretty good. But that's why I wanted to check out the uh, studio version myself, right? Because I'm very sure this song sounds like a banger in the uh, the studio version of it. It's recorded from a from a live stream in YouTube. That makes sense. They streamed it on YouTube. Okay, okay, that makes sense. But yeah, but still, it would be the same. It would be the same issues with the audio, and that's not to take away from anything that the warning is doing. That's just an explanation on why the sound quality is not you know, optimal, but it will be once the team of sound engineers get to working on it post-production, you get me? That's always the case, especially with like live streams or, or TV feeds and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, man, I'll put the link here for you guys again. Go support the warning. I really like the warning. I think somebody else said it in the chat. I think it was Zenitha. Um, the warning have slowly become, they might be my favorite girl rock group, rock band. And just in general, uh, because I'm checking out so much of the morning, in general, you know, I've, I've really taken a liking to their style. It's just rugged, man. It's badass. And it, it reminds me of uh, classic rock, which Richard I really Edwards like. Richard Edwards tipped 20 euros. The oh, that's you. Lyric video. Oh, that's you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. We'll do it. We'll, ah, fuck it. We'll do it right now. We'll do it right now. Screw it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's just go. So we just saw it happen. Richard, thank you very much again. Let's go. Mike, bro. Mike, fucking stop. Like, I mean it. Fucking stop. Okay? Stop that shit. Get a fucking timeout for a little bit, bro. Alright. Like the video. Let's go. Hear the difference in quality. See, I was like, did she say fucker in the live performance? But I couldn't tell because of the quality. But she actually did. She said greedy little fucker. All right, all right, all right. What is this about? Is this perhaps a relationship or is this about um, perhaps people in the music industry? Greed? Labels? Maybe it is. I really like the distorted vocal effect, the, the sorted... Uh, um, plug in.
These lyric videos are really dope. I've seen these pictures before, of course. I mean, it, it, at surface level, this happens a lot with songs like this. At surface level, a lot of times people would think, oh, it's about love and hate or breakup or something. Because a lot of the times it's meant to, to be done like that. And there's so many songs like that. Fucking mosquito. I'm about to fucking destroy this mosquito. I'm about to fucking murder this mosquito, bro. You, you came to the wrong fucking room, bro. What the hell do you think you're doing? About to fucking end your existence, man. Terminate your bloodline. Fucking fly in front of me again. But a lot of times there's a double meaning behind it where it's actually like about a label. And I think there was a, a song they did before. Was it Sharks? Do you know that maybe? I think it was, was Sharks where it was about people in the music industry. And, and here they said, uh, you greedy little fucker. Uh, and then you bleed me dry and then go look for another artist, for example. That could be what it is. Um, and bleed them dry, you know. Yeah, you get me, right? You get me. It's getting late for me. It's just 10 p.m. Touch me, pull the strings I get to love me, hate me. I want to do you. Shovel it down, my soul, wash it down. We consume them, they consume us. Okay. Make me be perfect for you. That could also be it. That towards the audience could be and be perfect for the audience. Yeah, that could be it. That could be it. All right, now off to putting this on my playlist. Fuck yeah, let me get that. 